Hello, YouTuber. Uh, YouTube, uh, just doing a quick little update on my 55 gallon haul. I started moving some fish around in this tank. I put these plastic tank here so I can get the Yonobis. Just to, you know, so they can have somewhere to dodge the other fish when they get a little bit aggressive. And as you can see, I put some floating plants in this tank. The only one they're eating slightly is this one here. But this one, they ain't touching it at all, which I collected this about probably about maybe five to six months ago. And they're doing well. I removed them from the 29 gallon tall and moved some fish, moved these angels all the way here because they were being way too aggressive. And then I moved the parrots over here since they're getting a little bit bigger. And being a little bit semi-aggressive. But everybody seems to be getting along. And I did add some botanicals that Warrior Planet Tank gave me into this tank. They probably hit it because they keep on moving the, the leaves from this side. They keep on moving, moving them inside the caves and everything everywhere else. But everybody's doing really good in here. They're getting along fine. Yakara is pretty much the dominant one in this tank for some reason. He's feeling a lot better. He's starting to look a lot better too. Before he was looking really, really bad from Ick. Um, Ick has gone completely gone since I treated him. And when I had the leak, he already was pretty much healed. So I redid the whole tank, reseal it. Did like a super duper thick seal on it, which you can see. Um, I mean, it's pretty thin on the edges. It's really flat, but it's a pretty good thick uh, seal. I didn't want to take any chances in this tank since it's a really old tank. And the guy before, he actually removed the seal between the two glasses, which is uh, no-no. So I had to do like a really good job on it. I do got a little bit of biting, little pieces, chunk missing, but it's starting to balance out like this one. This one I have to keep on treating. Make sure I treat this tank, you know, for any fungal. Not too much that will mess up my biological filtration, but enough so I can prevent any infection. But everybody's starting to look good because before they were all pretty much ragged and not looking great. And the Fevrums. Hey, Jeremy, you got me into several. Look how beautiful they are. The male and the female. Um, about probably about a month ago before the tank started leaking, they were showing signs of breeding. Right now, they're not because they're trying to get used to and kind of, you know, build a little territory. They've been hanging around where that plate is a lot lately, but they haven't shown signs of breeding yet. So. I'm hoping they will. And I got my convicts in here. That's the female. She's looking nice. This little red belly. My keyhole sickle, which I'm going to try to get two more. So I can probably get a pair out of them. That convict looks a little bit beat up. He's been fighting somebody. Probably trying to get the female. Yep, he's after the female. He's been, he's, since he came in, he's been fighting with everybody. So, but I guess he's trying to, yeah, he won over the female because now he's chasing the other convict. So I guess they decided who is the boss between them two, as you can see. So I guess they paired up because now he's always near her and keeping the other male away. Um, my black bell cichlids are looking better. They were actually pretty bad shape when I rescued them from a pet store. I couldn't let them stay there because I went to get some fish food. And this one I got to keep on treating, though, because I don't like that sore on top of the fin. That one came with it. It was actually a lot larger, but he's looking a lot better. He had a sore also, and his mouth was was not looking that great either. So I went ahead and treated him when he was in the plastic tote. But he's looking a lot better right now. So, And there's Akash. Doing really, really good. Beautiful fish. I gotta get a pair. I gotta get more of those peacock onions. Because, I mean, they do well with aggressive fish. He's pretty much don't bother nobody. My Crabenzi, my only last one that survived in this tank. 
probably gonna add more in this tank sooner or later just to, so he won't feel alone and he can actually I'll probably drop a female in there once they get a little bit bigger so these guys don't eat them because these guys ate pretty much all my Buenos Aires Tetras I had seven of them and there's only one left so I know it's them eating them and the only, the only suspect I can think of because they're the only one that has the biggest mouth but yeah everybody's doing really well so i hope you guys like this video just a little quick update showing you guys the almost finished product as soon as i get some anubis these plants are gonna go all of these plants are gonna go you know i'm gonna put a hopefully trying to get some anubis different types of anubis and just go ahead and plant them in there and see what happens and try this once again and see how it comes out I hope you guys liked this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and if you dislike, hit the dislike. And thank you for watching. And thank you everybody for the 1K. I really appreciate it. I didn't really expect it. Wasn't planning to reach that far, but I'm pretty happy. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and fish on.